Hello, and welcome to the Re-T Podcast episode 7? Uh, I think it's 7, I'm not sure it's late. Uh, I believe it's 7. Yeah, because we had 5.5. Uh, I believe this is 7. Uh, yeah, this is episode 7. Okay, this is episode 7. seven um, today, I am joined <clears throat> by Marcus. Hello. And... Adam! Hello! Hello! Uh, so, <laughs> this was very, uh, very, very, very last minute. Yes. Uh, so, we'll just talk about whatever. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, I mean, I kind of want to talk about the last week, considering... Been a crazy week. Yeah. Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah. So, we mentioned in the last podcast that, um... A Twitch streamer called Keyblade Brett ended up asking to stream the game. Um, he said, sure, obviously, and all of his details are in that episode. And then he, it turns out he's actually a moderator for another streamer. You might have heard of him. Um, it's Violin SR, who is, if I'm not mistaken, the he's got second place at the moment, yeah, at he's the time a former, recording. Former world record holder for Kingdom Hearts 1 speedrun beginner. Yeah. Any percent, I think it is. Um, Any percent, yeah. Yeah, he's quite a big uh, Kingdom Hearts content creator, big speedrunner. Um, at the time of this recording, he is going for 1 minute 48. Um, 1 hour 48. Oh, sorry, 1 hour 48. Sorry! Ugh, the way... Um, I didn't know he was that good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, he ended up streaming the game, and that got a lot of attraction. And yeah, there's, there's been a lot of there's a lot of other things. Um, a, lot, a lot of little stuff where mm. just people show up and uh, are streaming the game. Yep, yeah, some people have already started streaming the game just like randomly. Yeah where like we don't even know about it like someone just two days ago they just streamed the game with 100 percent speed run <laughs> of our mod yeah what um Wait, rico really? yeah uh yeah rico rico oh, the rico guy oh did he speed run it i thought he only got to hollow bastion no he, he did part one and then he did a part two of retranslated and then he had a separate video that was uh, twin, sorry, Crash Twin Sanity, 100% speed runs for blah 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 blah, and then he's okay. So he then played the mod. I think he, yeah, yeah, he played the mod so, after. So I think and he then did speed runs and then played Brett, the mod after. Brett played it twice, so we've had three streamers uh, all yeah. play through it. But not only that, as well, <clears throat> um, when Violin finished finished his stream, he raided. Uh, KH Guides, who runs, I think, the biggest database for Kingdom Hearts news and information and things like that. Uh, and he's he, pretty cool. He, he ended up praising us, like, I mean, like saying, like, you know. I, I think he said that he himself was going to stream the mod. Something like that. I heard. Um, but he also runs an event called Reconnect, which. Um, no, it's. He said that we should, we should take part next year, which we might do. We did mm -hmm. March Caprice this year, um, so next year we'll probably do that. No, we'll probably end up doing reconnect because I think the confirmed reconnect is mm -hmm. happening. March Caprice hasn't been confirmed yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking at the like the the page views, and then like. Basically, the page views goes like this. It's a um, first day, uh, we get sorry. Within the first two days, we get like 300 views. Mm. So it's like it's like a lot on the first day, and then it slowly yeah. like goes back down. The next day, it's 150, then 111, 106, and it just goes down and down and down until it like sort of averages out at like 50 to 40 views a day, which is not um, a terrible number. Um, it's not a terrible number, but out. then when Keyblade Brett streamed it, it shot up to like, uh, I think it was just 50, it was just like 60, 
like it, it was a bit higher okay. and then when violin streamed it it shot up back up to 254 um <laughs> for just that like one day oh god I and then more downloads kind of, it kind of averaged that day as well. but because of that we've averaged like having like 50 views a day and two down at least two downloads per day sometimes mm. like like on the day violin stream we got like six um like it was just a lot yeah we had 17 downloads on our first day which was yeah. crazy uh actually i did need to uh <laughs> clarify something as well because there was a lot of confusion so when uh i was actually in violin stream the entire time he streamed for about. I think eight you hours. and I watched mm -hmm. the entire thing. Yeah. Me and Marcus were there for the entire eight and a half hours. Uh, I was constantly sending messages, making sure that the stream was going all right, um, mm -hmm. asking, answering any questions <coughs> that the uh, viewers had. Actually, um, right now I'm on. I think on something. average he had 130 people watching at any point. Uh, but I need to clarify something in that uh, me, a dominator. I'm not the one that made the mod. Uh, I am the director for the retranslated project, sure. But in terms of the mod, that is all Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Jack was the one that made the mod. Uh, yes. The ReT project came first. So I think we did the entirety from the mods one. And then between the gaps between... Uh, the finale and part one of Chain of Memories. Um, you started working on the mod, didn't you? I started working on. No, no, no. I was actually before that. What was it? Uh, it I started right as we were finishing up the first, um, the final episode. Uh, I started right. like thinking about it, and then you announced we were going to do the March Caprice and have the final episode, and that's when I was like, okay, when we show off the final episode, I'm. I'm gonna announce the mod, well, oh, and then I had like yes. something like scrambled together, and that's why I showed off during the March Caprice. So, yeah, so what we did for the March Caprice was because it felt weird doing the finale uh, to show it off there. So what we did was we packaged parts one and two into one full video, mm -hmm. and then for the last fifteen minutes of that video, we did a mod showcase saying, "Oh, this is what we're doing." Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna voices. make one. And now people want us to do every single game. <laughs> Yeah, people. Uh, oh my god. Which is so exciting that how much people want us to do the other games. Yeah. No, it's, we've uh, had so cause... much positive reception, though. We've had you guys reaching out to us, saying, yeah, asking no, I, us I, like, to do within, the other games, asking to help the last out with few the days, project. Like, people have. Like, I know. I, I'm. It's, like, really flattering when, like, just a random person I've never heard of or, like, seen just, like, randomly shoots me a message saying, Hey, can I be a part of this? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe we're not looking for anyone right no. now, but thanks. And no. it's just like really nice. And then I'll we'll be like, well, I'll definitely like message you if we need more mm. people, and like we'll shoot you a DM of, of well, the cast yeah. list. Regarding that, so <laughs> since Violin Stream, I had like five to ten people in my DMs saying, Hey, can we? Can I be a part of the project? Can I be? Can I do this? And it's like, I want to be a part of the next mod. I'm like. Uh, if we need more people, 100%, we're, we'll consider yeah. you. At the moment, we do not say, need more people. <laughs> I would say if you guys are at all interested in that, join the Kingdom Hearts retranslated fan server. That way, yes. if we ever do contemplate, hey, we might need to add, get a few yeah. guest stars for this episode we'll or for this out, world. Out there. Or even that out, is where yeah. you're going to find out. Because we would much rather, we would much rather have like an, a pretty above average voice yeah. actor who's really passionate about kingdom hearts rather than just like random person who doesn't know anything about it yeah and but we do have people like that and they're they're great so but yeah, it is the, easier the way that i like to do things is that i've been in a lot of projects that didn't need too many people but had loads of people uh so we had another server there myself and jack were on uh, called Kingdom Hearts Abridged, and um, there was a whole thing going on with that, and we ultimately decided to Not step back. Not a good back. time. <laughs> no, yeah. We ultimately decided to step back because we felt that there was just so many people, um, it was getting a bit overwhelming, 
people weren't really deciding what they wanted to do and then ultimately people were just kind of like asking for stuff and getting it yeah and then it just it just piled on and on until like there was so much stuff no one could deal with it yeah from what from what i understand is that server no longer exists um but yeah um to anyone that was in the kingdom Hearts bridge server that you know if you know who you are uh i'm sorry that that project fell through but well, because it seemed like it. an interesting idea, but like it was just a lot of people yeah. clashing and a lot well, of yeah, random well, drama that wasn't necessary. Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of talented people in there, writers, voice actors. It just wasn't directed properly. So when it came to my project, and t- to be fair with the Kingdom Hearts of Grids uh, project, it's not the first server I've seen fail like that. Um, I've seen hundreds, hundreds of servers. Uh, do the same thing and Four. they just don't work um, so the way that I do my project is up until like episode 3 there was only 5 of us there was there was uh, myself, Marcus Jack, uh, Cossa and Lorelei um, and even then Lorelei had never even played the game. She jumped in because I needed a female voice actor, and you know she she was interested. In she it. did a good job. Yeah, she did a great job. She did an amazing, she's, amazing since, since job. She's learned a whole lot more about the series. Yeah. She's oh, hundred percent. She now. basically yeah. just watched the entire first game. I don't know if she was paying attention, but like <laughs> <laughs> she at least recorded yeah. all almost all the scenes. Yeah. Um. But so no. she has, has at least knowledge of the first game. Yeah, um, but the point is, when the project started, like, I only worked with five people. So it was five people doing, what, it like was 30 voices? Yeah, okay, so it was, yeah. Me, it was me, it was me, Marcus, uh, Casa, uh, Lorele, yeah, Lorele, and then it was you. Yes, yeah, so that's five, it was and just the five we were of us. all just doing the For the first the two or three episodes, yeah. It, and then, and then episode, we got episode four. We got another guy caught in called Sumi Ren, who yes, uh, again very talented. I I loved his voice, uh, but I ultimately decided to remove him the project because mm-hmm. uh, the quality just wasn't there. And yeah, I know that's quite hypocritical that my quality is not great either. Uh, I am the director, so I can't involved. It was, it was, um, I, I, from what I could tell, the issue was that, like, he said he could do these characters and then didn't actually show anything of it, mm. and then we just went like, okay, we believe you, and well, then... Well, yeah, he, we, he, well, no, he, I actually heard his demo reel. His demo reel was good, and he did have quite a good diverse range, it's just the he couldn't quite get the connotations that I was looking for, <laughs> so... And I got him without a demo reel. yeah. I, I, I respect the guy. I do think he's very talented, but he just wasn't suitable for this particular project. Um, when mm. it came to episode five, that's when we got uh, Ocean Wendy. and Little Wendy in. Um, no wait, 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 wait! I felt like we, I feel like we got Little Wendy way sooner. It was episode five. Are you? I, I could have sworn she voiced Atlas. No, that was uh, Lorelei. Oh, no, wait, I'm getting confused because she sung uh, Alice's song. Yeah. So And yeah. she did it so perfectly. Yeah, like, she it did was a, really jarring. You know, a singing song. She did a, sing, a singing song? Singing project. Uh, she did a cover of uh, World of Your Own, which was fantastic. But yeah, she joined us in part five. Her first role with us was Ariel. Um, mm-hmm. And then Ocean also joined us. Ocean joined us because, like, right from I'm the bat, at... we wanted his Zemless voice for not only Kingdom Hearts 1, but for yeah. future projects and stuff like that. Good talk. So yes. I thought I tested him out with Triton. And. Uh, I'm alright saying this because I've told Ocean himself, his Triton voice is shit. (laughs) (laughs) It's... No, that's a bit harsh. Uh, It's not that it's... His Beast was really good, though. His Beast was very good. 
Um, I like this beast a lot. <laughs> the Triton one. It, it's just that one line where he says Trident. Trident! I Trident! love it so much. I love the way he says it. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I, 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 Adam, I know you don't like it all that much, but Ocean, if you're listening to this, I love it so much. It is my favorite <laughs> line. No, I do know a lot of people did like it. So, like, uh, I think it was as actually long during... as it's As long as it's enjoyable. Yeah. Like. Well, I, I've already said that I'm not looking for the, the best voices. Like, heck, we made Donald with a deep voice. I think we're good. You mean Giga Chad mm-hmm. Donald? Giga Chad Donald, as uh, Violin Stream <laughs> called it. Um, we're gonna have to put that on a shirt, aren't we? Like, <laughs> if we, I Donald mean, Duck I don't. With a buff chin. When does when does Donald Duck become uh, free license? Uh, uh, how old I think is? 20... I know it's only a, a couple of years. Is it twenty nine? It might be. How I think it's twenty nine or thirty one. Okay, Donald Duck is 86 years old. How how old is Mickey? 14 years. So Donald Duck, uh, Mickey Mouse is Mickey Mouse is about years. is Ooh, okay. So he is Mickey Mouse is about to be 24 in like a couple of days. What do you mean 24? Sorry, 94. <laughs> 94. Sorry, I was confused. I was looking at the 20. Um yeah, in 2022 he's going to be 94 and that's was Donald Duck that really much close. Later? Hmm? Was Donald Duck that much later? Yeah, I don't think yeah, Donald came up until the 30s. No, and uh D- Disney as a whole is going to turn 100 uh at uh what was it? It's going to turn 100 next year. Mm. In 2023. They're having their hundredth anniversary thing. That's what like. Have you seen the promo for it? Like, there's been a bunch of like Kingdom Hearts stuff in it. Like, in yeah. one of them, there's a castle, and like part of it is a Keyblade. Yeah. Uh, they had a map of like all their famous locations, and like it's like, uh, they had Sky High there. They had Beast Castle, Sky and then in a, in, and th- no, that was a really weird one. But then in like in the middle, like just really faintly, you can see tw- um, Twilight Town. Oh, um, you're gonna have to show me this. I'll, I'll probably put it on the screen. I can show you, and then and then another one. Uh, it's a bunch of characters like flying around Mickey, and like it's their silhouettes. And one of them, you can clearly see Sora holding the Keyblade. Oh, I'll, I'll put all these on the screen so people can see what we're talking about. I I I, I have them somewhere. I'll, I'll I'll send you them, Adam, so that way sure they can see what I'm describing. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so. Going back a second, so part five, we brought on Ocean and Little Little Wendy, uh, both of whom are now basically permanent members of our team. Both are very talented. Um, then part six was fine, part seven was fine, and we ended it there. So the seven names that got listed there, all seven of them were put onto into the mod for the uh, the Diet of the Heart. Um, so if you're wondering what those names are, that's what that is. Um, it wasn't until we showed off the finale that we brought on a few more people. Uh, so we have... Uh, we, actually, no. We brought on uh, Janorama, to, who did the Simple and Clean cover. Um... Simple. Yeah, well, as, as we like to call it, and complicated messy. and messy. <laughs> complicated and messy. Yeah, so she did that for us. Um, she really isn't good. Listed, she isn't listed in the mod because she doesn't have any voice roles. Sorry, there's a car. She, there's actually, a car she did have. She did have one voice role that I gave her because no one was taking it. Uh, oh. She actually does. Um, you, uh, Yuffie. No wait, no sorry, not Yuffie. Um, Self- Selfie. Selfie. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, she does Selfie's battle quotes and the, uh, the the quick line that she has. The the two sets of lines that she does. Mm-hmm. She is featured on the mod page, but she's not in the dive to the heart because uh, that was after I, I made the dive to the heart. Oh, uh, so right, okay. That's uh, why, even though her line's really funny. Fair enough. Um... But yeah, Jan, Jan's been a big part of the project. Um, and then we brought on some more people. So, as of Chain of Memories, Lorelei ended up stepping back. 
because uh, she wanted to focus more on her Twitch presence, which is awesome. Go follow Laurel on Twitch. Um, then we brought on. Oh, was it uh, Gio? Giovanni. Then Giovanni, yeah. Yeah, so we brought on Giovanni next, who is a friend of Marcus. Um, we brought him on because. Uh, sadly, Jack isn't going to be voicing Sora forever. I know that a lot of people. We actually had some people. We actually had some comments that were basically saying, "Oh, I'm glad that this is the voice you chose for Sora because uh, it's deep enough that it could be realistic for both." But no, I, I, for, for creative purposes, I think Giovanni's going to be voicing Kingdom Hearts to Sora. And you're moving on to Roxas, aren't you, Jack? Yes, I am. And I'm actually, I'm fine with losing Sora, because I'm getting Roxas. Yeah. Uh, that was also a whole thing. A lot of people messaged me saying, Oh, do you, do you need a Roxas voice actor? And I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, thank um, you. <laughs> then, so after Geo, we like brought Roxas. on... Mm -hmm. uh, so, so there was a Gia, we brought on M. No, it was a uh, Dizzle first. Oh yeah, Dizzle. Yeah. So we brought Dizzle on... to work on yeah, the, the remake. Yeah. So thing. Yo Dizzle was someone who was also part of the March Caprice, and um, I'm sorry, Kingdom Hearts Bridge, but we we poached her. <laughs> so we actually asked her if she wanted to join us, and she said yes, and she said. Oh, um, the Kingdom Hearts of Bridge guys have also asked me to join them. Uh, what do you think of them? And then, you know, I, I taught them and told them their, their style, and she was like, okay, I'll, I'll give them a chance for a little bit, and that only lasted a week. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, so, wait, 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 uh, yeah, we're not going to mention names. <laughs> no, I, I think it's best if we don't mention names. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, uh, speaking of which, that. here I just I just sent the uh, images I was talking oh. about in the VC. Look, look at the middle one. There's Sky High. So, uh, so the first one is I've already seen that. It's that's got the keyboard. Yeah, I showed you that one. Yeah, that's got the keyboard uh, of the, the thing. And yeah, then... on this one, Twilight Town is right in the middle, but a little bit to the right. A bit to the right. Oh yes, I see it now. And then if you look directly above that, you see Sky High. <laughs> I don't give a shit about Sky High. I'm I sorry. I love Sky High. <laughs> Dude, Sky High is a, a, a treasure. Uh, that and is then the bottom one. Twilight Town. I, I will zoom yeah. in uh, on that. And then the bottom one. Oh, yeah. There is, there is Sora with his Keyblade. There's Sora with his Keyblade right next to Thor. Uh, Thor. <laughs> and Pete's Dragon. <laughs> Oswald is also there, weirdly enough. Yeah. Why is he flying? Tw um, I he I think he's jumping. Okay. Wait, where's uh, Twilight Town? Uh, so uh, in, in in the middle, look to the right. Oh, there. That's yeah. That's totally Twilight Town. That is straight. It up even Twilight says Town. no. It says Twilight Town. It literally says Twilight Town. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so back to back to Dizzle. So we brought yes. Dizzle on because <laughs> she made this fantastic video for Marge Caprice. Um. Like, we've like been using stealing. all the pre-rendered footage to create your own music video sort of thing. You know, the classic AMVs sort of thing. And the editing of it was so good that I decided, fuck it, Jenna will bring her on and uh, she could do some voices. she made the she really wants. cool intro. Yeah, so she made... She didn't make the intro for Chain of Memories Part 1, but she did for Parts 2 and 3. And she's making yes. a new one for parts four and five, so look forward to that. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing she did was she edited the video for the mod trailer. Um, yes, I remember she, this. <laughs> she modded, she edited that for us, which was awesome. And I've also got her editing something else as well, something very minor. Um, Oh wait, I haven't heard about this. What? Yeah, no. This is this is a, this is an extra thing. Uh, Giovanni was originally editing it. Uh, he's too busy, so I've asked Dizzle. Um, and then this is concerning. In terms mm. of, in terms of, <laughs> me and Jack Fenton. know everything that's going on here. Why don't we know this one? You, you guys made uh, Adam on the open road without me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but we knew about that. That's the thing. 
That's we, true. Yeah, we knew about the thing we were working on. We don't know about the thing you're working on. Yeah. That's the difference. That's that's the director's privilege. I can make things <laughs> without people knowing. Anyway. You didn't find out about that until it was basically done. So, <laughs> by the time episode one came out, we realized, crap, we're going to need a Mickey Mouse voice. And the guy we had previously, who I'm not going to mention by name, um, I ended up ended up wanting to remove him. Just due um, to difference of opinions and stuff yeah, like that. We, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Um, anyway, and while Jack did do Mickey's voice for Ch for Kingdom Hearts One, um, mm -hmm. we needed someone more dedicated so that uh, uh, you know, we've actually oh. got a proper voice actor for a proper role. So that's when we brought on uh, Midget Munchkin, who whose mm -hmm. first appearance is actually in that open the road open road song. He did he, play Mickey. He is the the Mickey voice. <laughs> that's literally his only role. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's um, his, that's his introduction. Yeah. But yeah, um, this oh, has been wow. a wild few days. Um, Projects popping off. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm genuinely looking forward to the future because mm. this is just the beginning. I want to get Chain of Memories done before the end of the year, which I think I should be able to do. Um, well, no, like, I'm looking at all of our videos and almost every single part is over 100 views, mm. which is probably well, due to violin. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. trying to, I'm not trying to hype myself up, but pretty much Chain of Memories finishing up is going to be almost entirely me. So yeah, pretty much. I think I show up me. for like and you, one you've segment. Only got the one role, really? <laughs> yeah, it's not even doing a bunch of different voices. Oh, and like, I get hey, to finally voice stuff. like a new character for yeah. once that isn't a Disney character. Yes, you I get to voice Bookman. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I think, um, or what? I think his actual name is what? What's his actual name? Ienzo. 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 <laughs> I remember this. Yes, now. you'll be voicing Zexy and Zexy. So, um for Zexian. I guess I can reveal who's voicing who, so Yeah. I mean, obviously part three is actually being done as we speak. Um part four and five so... are going to be Riku's story. Um Are we gonna do I are we gonna do four and five at the same time the same way that we did six and seven i think i'm gonna try and get it done at the same time yeah, because it's okay. all just mm -hmm. um it's a finale yeah it's, it's all riku so it's movie. like it's my um, movie now um i am actually <laughs> hoping to record part three uh tonight if i can oh well, that's good because my uh, yeah. voice is finally healing. Yeah, sorry, uh, Jack and I have been sick all week, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. So to get back to get back onto um, uh, the Riku stuff, so we're still gonna have some art lock scene lines. So you're gonna hear Wendy in mm -hmm. there. She's also Namine, mm -hmm. so she's gonna be there either way. Um, uh, Axel shows up a few times. Axel comes up a couple times. Uh, Giovanni's gonna be back as Vexen for a couple of lines. I show up for one line in Sora, I think. Yeah, you're <laughs> but I'm back also Sora technically well, playing Ienzo and Ze sorry Zexian. Um, it's technically him doing it. In terms it. of new voices, uh, Kosa is reprising his role as Anson. Uh, <gasps> I forgot about that. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna be doing that. We've got uh, Midget Munchkin is gonna be making his debut as Mickey. Um, mm hmm. I'll be voicing Lexeus and Ocean. Ocean is going to be uh, doing a couple of lines as Diz for part five. I was just gonna ask who was gonna do Diz. Yeah, that'll be that'll be Ocean. So everyone's still gonna have a role, um, but it's still it's not gonna be as intense as everything else. Um, I'm forgetting who's who's. Luxus. What? Who? Luxeus. Luxeus? Yeah, Luxeus. Luxeus is the guy with the giant red and black axe hammer thing. Oh! Okay, I keep. I always forget he exists. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so does Nomura. Mm. No, he shows up in Kingdom Hearts 3 to stand. Okay, so it's not weird that, like, Seis doesn't say anything. Why does Zaldi not say anything? I don't know. Like, I, I understand... I understand um, uh, Phil not saying anything in Kingdom Hearts 3 because the Japanese voice actor had sadly passed away and they'd already made the model for the character, so instead of writing him off, they just said, F it, he's there. They just had him. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's standing there. Um... Yeah, why didn't Pegasus talk? Because Pegasus doesn't talk. <laughs> of um, but, um, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. What should we, we should talk about? We still got um, uh, 20, like, minutes, twenty odd minutes. Oh well, I mean, you know what? Let's just let's just give a clear kind of timeline. <laughs> timeline of like what we're gonna do of, of everything from what we from when we've started to where we're going oh as far as we know okay um all right we started with casting call kh1 yes got all the people together yes we did the entirety of kh1 yes bam that's done yes then we did a song cover and then we yeah, we did, did the oh, march sorry, for priest announced the mod stuff. Yeah, so and we did then we did the song covers as a sort of bookend to uh, the first series. We are going to hope to do the song covers after every major game. So yeah. we're not going to do one after Chain or Days, but we're we're, we're going to do one no, after. No, so two. we're actually are going to do one after Days, but it's uh, <gasps> it's going to be themed. So Kingdom Hearts One, oh. we uh, we did only song covers of movies that appeared in Kingdom Hearts 1. So, we had uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, because uh, Belle and Beast he shows up. Uh, yeah. We had uh, Cruella de Vil, because of the Dalmatian house, and then the other four songs were self-explanatory. They were all represented by an actual world. Um, I think it was Aladdin, uh, Wonderland, mm -hmm. Agrabah, and Halloween Town. Yes. Um, for the Chain of Memories Day stuff, I do want to do another song cover. Um, but what what would it be like themed I around? I think it's still going to be themed around worlds that appear in those two games. Um, oh, but we just have, we're just going to do different ones than yeah, we did just last different time. Songs because some okay. of the some of the um, some of the movies that appear in those two games don't appear in the future. Things like Wonderland, uh, we're not yeah. going to see it again until coded, and I don't plan on doing but the like, same thing for coded. I mean, unless we're doing like the Walrus and the Carpenter, I don't think we're gonna have many options. Obviously, That's the only song I can seen, think of. Obviously, you've never seen Alice in Wonderland the musical. Hmm. What? We also, we also have to limit ourselves to one Olympus Coliseum song because. The fucking Olympus Coliseum is in every fucking movie in the game. Ugh. Uh, we, we already did... Wait, did did we actually put in the Go the Distance? No, we did Corello de Vil instead. Yeah, no, I, I originally sang Go the Distance and it turned out crap. So, I did Corello de Vil. Yeah, your range was a bit too deep for it, mm. but you fit Corello de Vil. That one was good. Yeah. Um, I do plan... I would like to do Zero to Hero. Um, Ooh, Zero to Hero. I might, good. I might be snatching Go the Distance or uh, One Last Hope. I know that I want Marcus to sing one particular song. What? That's not till Kingdom Hearts Two. Not till Kingdom Hearts Two. Oh, it's Swim Swim This Way. No. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> no. You're singing. Yes. Swim oh, you're not even swinging this way. No, so, I'm not. Sorry. I mean, um, if unless Geo like refuses to, I mean, I could step in for just the songs if he doesn't want to. But what like are you doing Ursula, I would also end up just doing the songs too if y'all <laughs> needed me. Oh, I yeah, could be yeah. like it's it's like the kid in Lion King where he had like a the singing voice actor and like the normal voice Jack, actor. Uh, Jack Skellington did too. Yeah. Yeah, they had. Uh, well, they actually did have who the person who sang for Jack Skellington was. Uh, Danny Elfman. I, mean, I thought it was Danny Elfman, yeah. 
Yeah, which is really he's the weird. one who did all he's the, the one who he wrote the music. Yeah. And then just said, screw it, I'm gonna sit can can our Jack voice actor sing? Uh no he can't. <laughs> screw it. <laughs> and then he just I'll like, do it did myself. It. To be fair, I'll do it I myself. do want to do uh for Kingdom Hearts 2, I want to do Be Prepared. Ooh. I had the I had the chance. I had the chance in Kingdom Hearts 1 because Simba was a summon. But um, no one ended up doing a um, Lion King song. It's the song. And because I can't stand Timon and Pumba, I have to choose Be Prepared. Because it was. <laughs> those are the only two what songs. What are you talking sing. about? You can't, um, you can't stand them. You can't understand the, the pig that was played by Seth Rogen. Oh, shut up. You shut <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, because I already had a song that I kind of wanted to do for Kingdom Hearts 2, and you're like, no, you're doing, you're doing the, this oh, one no, so instead. Marcus, Marcus you, what was, what's the song not, you wanted to do? We're not, we're I wanted not, to do Make a Man Out of You. <sighs> yeah, Marcus, that is we're, a not, good one. we're not restricting you to one song only. I'm restricting myself to one song only. Oh. He's, he, he's not a glutton. I'll tell you what, if... The song that I want you to do, do you want to do that for the Chain of Memories Days one? Nah, because that, that, that's perfect for KH2. What's the song? Oh, no, it is perfect for King Master 2, isn't it? <laughs> Should we just say, it's, it's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, Jack Skellington singing, what's this? Oh. What's this? What's this? I only know the rude version. I'm sorry. This is white shit everywhere. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck is in the air? The fuck is in the air? The fuck? There's white shit everywhere. Uh, that is perfect for Cage too. Yeah. No, Marcus. I promise you, for Kingdom Hearts two, I'm not restricting people to one song. I only did. There's a lot of worlds. Yeah, I only did it for the first. Uh, the first one because you know there were only seven parts I wanted to get I wanted to work on Journey Memories and this was just a side thing but because people seem to like the song covers fuck it we're doing it yeah this one of the let's see the last song cover we did yeah it had it did okay <laughs> it did alright it did alright I do recommend people going back because uh, while the three of us were on it the three best covers were were the others like a holy crap a Janorama's cover of Be, Be and the Beast oh my god and then Kossa his cover of um, Kiss the Girl getting us in trouble with Disney um, you two have gone very silent you alright? Well, I'll just listen to what you had to say man <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you have to say, man? Um, only, like, well, I mean, I know how you feel about this, and it's not, like, um, it's not my place to say. No, go on, like, Kingdom Hearts, so like, um, the first few games, um, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, or Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, Chain of Memories, and, um, Days, they don't have a lot of characters. No. Uh, no, I know. I, mean, I know. Jack is excited to not be playing Sora because that means he'll be he'll get to hop on the bandwagon with me and play a bunch of people. <laughs> um, but I would say that there's so many characters, a lot of them with only one or two lines, that at least for me, in my opinion, I wouldn't rule out in the future the idea of getting a few guest stars to show and yeah. just give us a line or two. Like, yeah. for example, I, I, I can't think of their names off the top of my head, but the three guys from Mulan. Yeah. Um, uh, so just, like, maybe not them no. exactly, but just them as example, because they do, they have, I think each of them have like two lines of dialogue. It'd be yeah. cool to get like three random, like new, new people to just have little cameos in that episode. Yeah. So I do have uh, an idea for uh, Kingdom Hearts the, 2 the episode announcer. 1. Yeah, I want someone to do the uh, the faceless announcer that speaks over the struggle tournament. Um, I have told you to who I want, but for the purposes You're not of... going to say it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it because <laughs> we've not asked them yet and mm -hmm. I don't want V 
this podcast to be also, potentially the way they find out. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before we yeah. get to that because we're gonna yeah. finish. I I think we'll finish Chain before the end of the year and hope. And if we finish Chain before we the end finish of the year, Chain I, of Memories before December. I think we could get and it done if, before December. I, yeah. I think we can start days before the start of next year. I agree. Yeah, I think we can get the first episode of Days done. I mean, yeah, it's not unreasonable. Because we're just about to like, ba- I, I think part three is gonna be really swift. Because like, I'm gonna record stuff, and I'm me and Marcus are the main two people talking this whole time. And then I think, because Marluxia doesn't talk too much, I don't think. Wendy, Wendy has a lot, so she's voicing yes. Maxine and Namine. Uh, Ocean, okay, that's... Ocean's already got his Marluxia stuff in. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so then that's we're only really have three people we're waiting on to record lines. Yeah. Um, uh, with and then regards to, even then, with regards to the chain of memories thing, though, the reason it's taking so long is because uh, even though the movie, so the the video footage that I was given for Kingdom Hearts One by Dreams Guides, and the footage for Chain of Memories I was given by uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll have it on screen. Um, mm-hmm. the Chain of Memories footage was significantly shorter but the reason the Chain of Memories one is taking so long is because it's so dense with uh, dialogue, dialogue. Um, mm-hmm. cause the, yeah. the first like you, 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 if you think about it the the first and second let's say, like second and third episode the episode I think we packed with the most like information in um, Kingdom Hearts 1 was probably episode 3 because that that one we had Wonderland uh, Hercules and Deep Jungle I think what also that was probably the most what also doesn't help is the Chain of Memories the footage I was given is 60 frames a second big problem with that all the cutscenes of Chain of Memories are in 30 frames a second (laughs) <laughs> so it's taking so much longer to find exactly where I need to cut everything. Um, I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to see if I can change that to thirty frames. You can change it, like if you just yeah. grab the whole recording and export it at thirty, it'll just cut it up. Oh God, no, I'll not. I'll take hours. <laughs> <laughs> that would. Uh, yeah, no. I think I think in the future I'm just gonna see if we can get people to record this stuff in 30 frames a second rather than the full 60. Um, actually, um, speaking of which, uh, I can actually just record my footage for yeah. days because it's literally just a movie and yeah. I've been meaning to rewatch it anyway so I can just have the recording up and just be watching it. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah. Have, I can you, have, the controller, have the controller fully charged cause so we don't get any notifications. Oh yeah, yeah. don't worry. Um, no, no, no! I'll, 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 I'm gonna do it on computer because uh, I have oh, these okay, on here. Okay. Um, I think we're good for an episode right now. Uh, we are. Uh, well, we're at the forty. Can we? Minute. Can we just do <laughs> one? Can we just do one hypothetical Kingdom Hearts world? You just want to do more drawing, don't you? Yes. All right. What you got? You said yes? Sorry, yeah, I was yeah, doing yeah. something. Just okay. Go for it. What do you want? Marcus, uh, I did it last time. Marcus, you choose You choose an idea. Oh. I know I'm putting you on the spot, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, you here? I don't think Marcus is the one. <laughs> Marcus is gone. Uh, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Brain accumulating information. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Um... So we're I not mean, limiting ourselves to Disney. No, we're Are not we? limiting ourselves to Disney. If you want to do live action stuff, if you want to do other animation, I don't care. High School Musical. All right, I'm getting the episode here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what should we call this episode? Just <laughs> no, uh, I'm not talking about High School Musical, High School musical with Zac Efron. <laughs> don't you dare. Um, I just called. Okay, song just like, let me. Just let me. Just me. Lead. Let me do this really quick. Tell you what, All Jack. Right. 
we'll do it next episode, okay? You can go into proper ah. detail then. You can get to proper detail next episode rather than just throwing Tune in videos. next episode when I finally get to the conclusion of how Zac even here. factors <laughs> in. It's so unfair for him, for, for me to suffer and for him not to. <laughs> what are you talking about? Marcus would have loved this. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, well, goodbye. Wait, we need to decide on a title. Oh, yeah. Uh, mod updates <laughs> and mod hype. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mod um, hype and a history of uh, routine. Alright, <laughs> goodnight. Night. <laughs>